AITA for giving my husband an ultimatum, counseling or separation, after what he did to me. Hi, thanks for reading, if you do. I really would appreciate any help here, I am so lost. Also, I made this account to post this because I just don't want to face the questions if anybody, even my husband, did find this. For the past three months, I feel like I have been living on thin ice that could break at any moment. I really can't pinpoint exactly when this happened, it's more like it slowly crept in and I just never realized until this major event occurred. In any case, my husband has turned from the kind, loving, supportive man that I married to someone distant and angry. For some quick background, we have been married for two years and together for six. I am 26 F and he is 34 M. We met through friends and we instantly connected. He has always been my person that I can talk to no matter what until recently. So, about three months ago, I noticed his behavior starting to change. He was really quick to get upset with me, always frustrated about something and constantly raising his voice at me. I had no idea what was going on and I tried to ask so many times over those first two weeks but he would always just say nothing or just not answer. I thought maybe it was work stress so I didn't do anything except try to be as patient as possible. Well, about two or three weeks after that started, something happened that has had me upset for months. Basically, I was going out for a friend's birthday, and we were pretty much just going to have fun and dance. I was wearing a short skirt and a top that showed my midriff. Never had my husband ever had a problem with how I dress, especially because it's not like I normally dress like that. We were just going out. But when he saw me about to leave, he had a huge issue with it. He asked me if I was really wearing that. I said yes. He asked me why I thought it was okay. I told him because I liked it. He stood up from where he was sitting and started to try and pull my shirt down to cover more of my stomach. I pushed his hands away, and he grabbed my arms and pushed me against the table. He yelled in my face about wanting men to look at me. I yelled back that that was so far from true and that I would change if it really mattered to him. He said back, of course it matters to me. You think I want people to look at my wife like that, and started to try to pull my skirt down too. I repeated again that I would change, and at this point, I was on the verge of tears because he had never yelled in my face or grabbed me like that before. He asked me if I wanted men to look at me and think inappropriate thoughts. I said no. He kept touching my clothes and asking me if that was my intention. I kept saying no. He did not seem to accept that as an answer. I did not make it to my friend's birthday that night, and ever since then, I genuinely feel like my husband is a different person. I used to think of him as someone who would never hurt me, especially in that way, but he did. Admittedly, I started pulling away. My husband asked me several times what was wrong, and then I became the person who kept saying nothing. I didn't even want to sleep in the same bed with him, but I did, and I thought I would eventually get over it, but I didn't. This led to even more arguments, and eventually, after another big disagreement, I told him that we needed counseling, maybe together, maybe separately, because of the bad months we've had. He agreed that the past months haven't been good, but he wasn't willing to go to counseling. That's when I told him, counseling or separation. Those are our only options. He was angry, but he chose counseling. Our appointment is very soon, but I highly doubt he will actually go. He says I am forcing his hand, and it isn't fair. I think it's fair. Ita, 